for me to actually coach an opening statement, please? Uh, you know, I, I've said before, I've told the team this, and I, maybe it's, I might have said it in this, in this room, that this game honors toughness, and the toughest team won the game with us. They, we just got out tough. If there was a missed shot, they went and got it. They wanted it more than we wanted it. They were tougher, uh, probably in every way, shape, or form, and that's why they won the game. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, in, we're in a bad place right now. And uh, as I just said to the team, it's, it's the guy in the mirror. Everybody's got to decide they want to. It's not the guy next to you. It's not the guy behind you. It's the guy in the mirror to, to a person in that room. And everybody's got to. We can't. We, we, we got. We got to change. And and the the only thing we got. The biggest thing we got going for us is that we don't have to change and become something we've never been. Because two weeks ago I thought we were a pretty good team. And uh, we just didn't. Uh, you know, as I said, uh, kind of repeat what I said to the guys in the room. There's two things you deal with with in life: failure and success. And we're 4-0, and we got three road wins, and we're first place in the league, and we didn't deal with success well. We didn't stay hungry. We didn't stay uh, whatever the right word is, uh, inspired. I don't know what it is, but we, we didn't stay that way. We just didn't handle that success well. And now we got to handle the other, the other one. we got to handle failure. So. Question? Uh, for Warren, uh, do you think that you, because you guys are, are a perimeter-oriented shooting team, and when the shots aren't falling well, uh, does that carry over to the defensive end? Because in these five losses, you guys have given up about 86 points per game. Um, no, I don't think so. I just think we have a better attitude and guard our guys on defense. Joe, you have anything in your the 15 years in the Agri you can draw upon now when you've lost this, whatever you had going two weeks ago, and it's gone? 180 degrees of the way, but anything you can draw on to say, okay, we did this? Uh, unfortunately, yeah. We, we, we've all been there. We've all been through, through, through ruts like this. And we'll, you know, we're just going to keep banging our heads against the wall and try to think of you know, whatever it is we can, we can do. I mean, we're all, you know, when I say we got to change, I mean, we got to come up with something. You know, whether it's try this, try that. But, um, uh, you, you know, it's, uh, yeah, we've all been through it. We're going to, we're going to, we ain't going anywhere. You know, here's the, here's the, there's a lot of basketball to go. We ain't going anywhere. We're not. We're down right now, but we ain't. It's just going to make us work hard, and uh, we're not going to feel sorry for ourselves. And you know, you know, here's the thing. I mean, it's we still believe in ourselves. We still know we're all frustrated. Right now. We're all extremely frustrated, but we still know that we can win the league. Uh, we're not playing the best basketball right now by any stretch. Shoot, William and Mary's playing terrific, and other teams are playing better. We know that, but uh, we also know that two and a half weeks ago we were one of the best teams in the league, and we can get back to being there. We just got to figure a way to do it. Uh, I mean, uh, can you? Just, I mean, with you two playing this year, you got off to the hot start and a lot of success. Can you describe the feeling personally? You know, with this team suddenly going through such a bad stretch, how, how shocking is it to you the way you started? There's no surprise. We ain't, we ain't had success well. We got, we got happy. How, how, is, how is your shoulder? Fine. I mean, did, did it, uh, and, and did you feel like you had any trouble at all getting involved in the offense tonight? Team, the team, they adjust. It's like, they adjust. They guard me differently. That's what, that's what Coach, I didn't thought about playing Walker some more minutes, going a little bit bigger at times? Uh, you know, believe me, I think about every single guy on that roster and who should be in there. And, uh, you know, what you guys don't see is what we see every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and he doesn't show us every day that he's better than the two guys that we got right now. Uh, great kid. Uh, but, but, you know, it's, it's these guys, like I said, you, I see him every day. And if, if he were to show that he should play more than – or play at all, he'd be in there, just like a couple other guys. So. Joe, do you, do you see any consistent theme for in these five losses for why you're giving up so many points? You know, 58 percent shooting. Start, starts with toughness. Starts with you know we always say man up, just guarding that guy with the ball, decide you want to you know whatever. Starts with attitude. Starts with effort. I know they might sound like they might like sound like coach speak or, or cliches, but that's 
what, sometimes that's what it comes down to. It's, you know, technique's one thing with defense. It's, it's more, I don't know what it's, it's a lot more than technique. It's more about heart and attitude. Joe, we were talking before. We said exactly what you said, that you got out, out tough tonight, at least from our perspective. But also, they're not as good as they played, and you guys aren't as bad as you played. They shot 60%, you shot 40%. There's no way you're going to win a game under those conditions. Uh, I don't disagree. And, uh, you know, when, you when know, a team like that shoots good, I mean, it, it, gets, it gets to maybe, like, you think of the stretches. I, I was disappointed with the way we started the second half. We let them feel good to start the second half. We screwed up a defensive slide in the, in the first possession. They got a layup. And then we screwed up in transition. In the second possession, they hit a three, and they feel great. And they feel great. So instead of being up one with two stops and the momentum being our way, we let them feel good right away. And it was, you know, when you, when you, when you let a team feel good, they're going to shoot good. So this is three, state, three straight slow second half starts, you guys. Is there a common thread? Is it the toughness slash lack of confidence? What do you see? I, I, I wish I knew because we do talk about those first five minutes of the second half, how important they are. And we, we talk about it almost every game. It's, and maybe that's a problem. It's become like a hollow, a hollow saying. Oh, Coach said it again, first five minutes. And then you start to lose. You say the same thing over and over, and then you start to, you know, lose the real meaning of it. So maybe you got to think of a different way to talk about it. But. Do, do you see the rebounding difference tonight as, as a function of your poor shooting or, again, lack of effort? Toughness. Toughness. If I, if I if you want one word out of me, they wanted the ball more than we did. And we talked for two days about how their best offense is when they miss a shot. It's their best offense when they miss a shot. And there were ones that they got more because they wanted more than us, and there were ones that we, we had position we could have had and bouncing off of our hands. It's uh, very disappointing.